Marketing is a term that I created to represent the mashup of marketing and education, meaning the education of marketing, teaching marketing, but also a revolution, a peaceful revolution to take down and shake down the way that we think about marketing and also the way that we approach marketing. My revolution started looking at the evolution of marketing and education. Both marketing and education have evolved uh, thanks to the power of modern technology. We are able to learn and access information as well as market products and services in ways that we had never imagined before. And it's just uh, incredibly a powerful way to do what we do. And we're looking at now the wild, wild web. And just like the wild, wild west, there is uncharted territory. The possibilities are endless. We can Google search and find things and learn in ways we'd never imagined. And it also takes the elitism out of marketing and allowing small businesses, big businesses, profit, nonprofit to have a place. When I looked at marketing, I found that the common feeling about marketing is this, the like, but wait, there's more and there's this extra special offer. Marketing is not the cheesy selling of products or services. This is giving marketing a bad rap. Marketing is not this guy. I want a wanted sign. I'm taken down. I want these guys behind bars, the obnoxious, pushy, self-serving marketers. If we stop approaching marketing as a push marketing, shoving down your throat products and services and information, we are going to have a better peace of mind and a better quality of life. So the true academic meaning of marketing actually is maximizing exchanges. Yes, it does help support sales, but in order to get to sales, we have to date first before we get married, and that means there's awareness, there's communication, there's connection, there's service, there's sales. Seven touch points on average to make a sale is the actual marketing statistic. So Mark Edding is helping to educate and build these relationships. You don't walk up to someone at a bar who you've never met and said, hi, would you like to spend the rest of our life together and have five kids? It does not work that way. You have to meet and converse and share values, have some sort of experience, have some sort of attraction to help solidify the relationships. So marketing gets to the core of what marketing really is all about, and that's relationships. When we can help create a place of understanding, a common ground, then looking at tools of marketing like websites, video, collateral, social media, and content really truly come into play in an effective way. Old school definition of education is the process of giving systematic instruction, the process of teaching. I wish my college experience was like pachaka cha. Oh my gosh, I would have learned so much more. The old rules of education don't work anymore. That's not the way that we retain information or claim our education. It was a binge and purge learning experience. <laughs> you would stuff information in your brain and spit it out onto a test, and we didn't really learn that way. And the same goes with marketing. You can't push ads down someone's throat and expect them to create a connection with an organization or your nonprofit or your cause. So education redefined is about teaching and training and creating research, um, and not um, just through the, the push, but really through an experience that has a formulative effect on the way that we think and the way that we feel and that we act. And that is Mark Edding. It's this educational approach to marketing, which ties into experience even in our formulative years. And as a mother, I think about the way that media can impact my daughter. How are we influencing people? And that is a matter of swaying. When you look at the definition of influence, swaying is like, I, I don't know why I chose that person as my life partner. That I can't put a finger on it, just the way they make me feel. That goes back to the wild, wild web. How do we lasso Mark Edding as a new way to connect with people in a meaningful way, especially in today's influence economy that is so web um, and social web driven? It boils down to this educational approach of creating content. And the number one way that we search for products, services, and information is through search engines. And Google is the number one search engine, representing almost 70% of the search uh, results. Some people say Google is God. Um, I may agree every once in a while. How are we creating um, meaningful connections is this educational approach. We can also educate through video. Video is the number one activity happening on the World Wide Web. So yes, I know what you're doing during the workday, and it's not just work. We're watching videos. The videos at Pachaka Cha are shared later on, so we can continue to engage and share information. And it's education. What we've been listening to this evening is education. 
Going into social media, Facebook or a country, it would be the third largest country in the world. If you're wondering what country this is, this is my country of Mark Edding. If I can make up words, I can make up countries too. <laughs> Social media, search engines, educational content, videos, all of these pieces are coming together. This is my darling husband who indirectly was educating his current employer about the specific expertise he had. He was recruited by his current employer because of his LinkedIn content, because of the words and the phrases he used. It created a mathematical match and voila, his life got turned upside down and he moved out to Santa Barbara. Mark Edding marries the mind and the heart. It's an educational approach to marketing. It's an ethical approach to marketing. Meth Edding sound weird because it has the word meth in it, so I'm going with marketing. <laughs> I invite you all to join me in my revolution. Um, we've enjoyed the, the evolution of it, watching uh, things evolve. And that goes into rethinking the way that you approach marketing. Marketing is not an icky, yucky thing. It's how we move causes. It's how nonprofits make the planet a better place. It's how we get new jobs. It's how we help people understand the value of what we're doing. So and I invite you to join me in my revolution. I won't say evolution because I'd like it to be a revolution so we're all alive to see the end result. Thank you very much.